Hey guys, thanks for watching Precision Rifle Network. So I did a poll recently on the community tab of the YouTube channel and I asked, what would you like to see more of as it relates to long range precision shooting content? There were approximately a thousand votes and 53% of you said you wanted to see more shooting technique tips and how-to videos. So today I went out to the range and after truing up my rifle at a thousand yards, I did nothing but practice different shooting positions off of tractor tires. Also, I have to preface by saying this is my first time ever using the MDT Skypod for positional shots. So far it's excellent. You'll just have to be a little patient in the video you understand why I'm fumbling around with it so much. I'm used to using an atlas. On this first tire, there are a number of ways you can set yourself up. These particular tires have a piece of plywood cut to fit in the center so you don't lose brass, but that also makes the position technically easier because you can simply use front and rear support as if it were a shooting bench. It's basically like shooting prone. We call it modified prone. The only real trick is to memorize what leg height you need for your bipod, and also how far forward or backward the bipod needs to be on your stock in order to be able to properly use your rear bag under the bag rider where it belongs. I originally set the Skypod legs on the lowest setting and the medium width, but quickly realized I needed a little more height in order to properly use my rear support and be able to line up on the target properly. This is why we go to the range and practice so that we can tune out those small errors that waste valuable time when you're in matches on the clock. So when I finally get a position built the way I want and I feel comfortable, then I apply the fundamentals of squaring up behind the rifle, sight alignment, I do my final wind check, my breathing, my trigger press, my follow through, and I always correct to center with my next shot. Always correct to center, even if your first shot was an impact. On the second position, I knew it would be too high for kneeling, and because the tire is round, it was going to make it more difficult to use front and rear support without the magazine hitting in the middle or a number of other issues. So I chose to just run the rifle on top of the flat game changer. And this is the Schmedium Heavy Fill, for what it's worth. Now, this position is usually very solid, and I knew I could make this particular shot. The problem with it can be when there's excessive wind, like there was this day, and it will tend to kind of buffet or blow your body around and induce extra wobble. I didn't have any issues hitting these targets, just be aware of it. A couple variations are, I could have placed the bag on the farthest side of the tire opposite my body, which would allow me to lean my upper body against the tire to immobilize my upper body, my chest area, but it's an awkward position and you end up craning your neck trying to see through the scope. It's not very comfortable, it can be effective, just takes some practice. Another alternative would have been to use a tripod for rear support. This would have been preferable. Here in Missouri, we can't use them at our matches. Anyway, use one of the legs and rest it against the side of your buttstock. You hold your stock and the tripod with your rear hand, and that also becomes very close to prone instability. And on the last position, I decided to try spreading out the bipod legs over the tire and then use the game changer as rear support kind of under the grip of the gun. But you can easily see I was having trouble getting the rear bag in the right position. I ended up missing shots in this position because I just couldn't get stable consistently. Now just watch this next segment and how painfully awkward this was while I was messing around with the alternative positions. Then when I lowered myself down to kneeling, I had bone support with my elbow, I ran the game changer, you can actually feel the relaxation and the correctness just coming through the screen right now, can't you? <laughs> it's just a better position all around. So I just dry fired these shots, but you had to know I probably would not have missed those shots. Um, it was very stable. So I guess the bottom line here is there is many different ways to skin this cat as the cat has lives. It depends on who you ask as to which one is best. I say it's situational, at the end of the day, only hits count. My methods tend to line up with whatever puts my body in the most fundamentally sound position and is comfortable. Get out to the range, practice your positions, memorize how to use and place your gear. Try to be as consistent and calm 
and quick as possible on the clock. Thanks for watching today, guys. Leave a comment below if you run tires in a different way than what you just saw. And stay tuned for more great videos from Precision Rifle Network.